<laughs> hey you guys, it's Callie from Love Cooks and we have a very special episode um, this week of our Love Cooks YouTube channel. We have the very incredible, very beautiful Ashley Real from Share Love Everywhere and she is absolutely an inspiration to me in the way that she loves people just like we're loving people with food with Love Cooks. She loves people in a very unique way that I wanted to share. So Ashley, if you want to introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about what you do. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my name is Ashley, and I leave hidden notes of encouragement for strangers to find. Um, just little kind words that say, like this card says, you are more. Um, things that come to my mind, hey, I'm on your side. I love that one. Yeah, just fun great. things that I leave out at coffee shops yeah. or library books. Yeah. Anywhere that I go, I leave a note, and we have put out over 13,000 notes. Oh my gosh, 13,000? Yeah. That is yeah. incredible, Ashley. And I hand number and stamp them all, and we wow. have ambassadors all over the world. Wow. From where are they from? The Philippines. We've had Philippines. people in Italy. We've had people in um, South Africa. Oh my goodness. Places I've never been. It's oh so my crazy. So, That's amazing. Yeah, this tiny idea I had has sparked into this, I guess, kind of kindness movement. Yes. And here we are. Still cranking away and loving people and sprinkling kindness like confetti. Oh my gosh, that's the best. I love that. <laughs> sprinkling kindness like confetti. I just want to do that every day. I just yeah. need to repeat that mantra. Right. I and love that. Like uh, edible sprinkles, right? Like, <gasps> yes. Sprinkle kindness like edible sprinkle or like sprinkles. Like sprinkles. On sprinkle a cupcake. like sprinkle. I love it. <laughs> sprinkle like sprinkles. That's perfect. Oh my gosh, I love that. Well, as you guys can tell, Ashley's amazing. She's so cool. She has such a cool cause. Um, Ashley, can you share like your Instagram, your website, all that fun stuff so people can yeah. find you? Yeah, so um, we're at Share Love Everywhere on Instagram. That's where our main party is. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm more of a visual person, so the whole photo with the comment underneath is my jam. There's, it, her Instagram is so stunningly beautiful. Like, I feel like you could print off some of the photos she takes and just mount them on your wall. Like, they're that beautiful. Well, I don't take all of them because we have our ambassadors, so they take the pictures yeah. for me, and they do a great job. They're kind That's of the reason so that cool. we look so great. And if you look at some of the people that post those photos, which I like doing, is I'll look at their accounts, and I like to, like, see if I want to follow them because yeah. I feel like... So many of the images are so beautiful and like to see more inspiring images from the other people too. So not yeah. only are you getting a hit of kindness, you're getting a hit of creativity, which is super cool. Yeah, so many people um, are really great at calligraphy. Yeah. I'm not. I just am not normal either. handwriting. <laughs> just and there's no out. shame in that. There's no. no shame. But also, no. if you have a skill in calligraphy, yeah. my goodness, use it to spread some love. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think like the handwritten note has been lost. Like I know now when I get notes from friends in the mail, I mean, it feels like a treasure. Sure, yeah. you know yeah it's a, it's a lost art form it is a lost <laughs> art form well I'm so pumped about it I'm so excited that you are doing what you're doing Ashley you're making a huge difference and one of the reasons why I brought Ashley on also is she's an incredible mama she has two precious kids who are great eaters and um, this month September is kind of a back-to-school theme I feel like for a lot of people yeah. they're back in school they're trying to get you know their food planned out and their lunch boxes prepared and I wanted to ask Ashley just about, is Bigsby driving you crazy? Oh. Hey, bud, <laughs> let's turn this way towards the camera. There you go. Okay, lay down. Lay down. There you go. Okay, we can edit that out. Um, okay, you guys, so one of the reasons why I wanted to bring Ashley on today is because she also has two precious kids. She's a great foodie, a great cook, and um, I wanted her to talk about, you know, some back-to-school snack ideas and some things that you might could do to help your kiddos kind of maybe eat some healthy snacks. So, um, Ashley, what do you like to feed your kids for snack? What will they eat? What What's your flow with that? I think the best piece of advice that I could give yeah. would just be to ask your kids what they like and what they're interested in and That's then start so introducing good. new foods as they're eating the things that they already enjoy. So okay, cool. For my daughter, she loves pizza, yeah. and so we would make homemade non-pizza bread pizzas. Oh, well, so do you just buy the non we from the store? buy the non from like Trader Joe's or something. Yeah. They have like the frozen packs. Uh-huh. Um, we love those because they're really easy. And they I love heat Trader up Joe's. That's, per that's a good, yeah. you know, bit of advice. Yeah, then we just get some tomato sauce and some cheese mm -hmm. and then I start introducing vegetables that way. Like, which love vegetables that. do you want to try? Let's yeah. see what you like. And, yeah. Um, so we've tried all kinds of things on those, but I mean, the staple is always going to be cheese. 
yes, and nothing else. Absolutely. But, so we do one of those, and then food. we do like a vegetable one so yeah, that she can try. Very and then cool. The kids split them. Are there any? Um, hey, bud, I'm gonna get you to go down for a second. All right. Sit, bud. <laughs> he's cracking me. Up. He's he's really active right now for some reason. Sit. Stay. Too much. Too much Stay, energy bud. in this room. There's a like, there's a lot of energy in this room right now. So we're gonna let him rest for a second. <laughs> no, no, sit, sit, stay, bud. Stay. That's a good boy. Stay. Um. Ready? Okay, so we have to take a little Bigsby break because he got really excited and he loves Ashley already. So we're just gonna do a. <laughs> A couple more tips without Bigsby in the shot. Um, that's how it goes when you're YouTubing at home. Yep, that's how you roll. You roll with it. Um, okay, so Ashley, do you have any vegetables in particular that your kids are more likely to eat? You know, that may work good to put on a pizza. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Cool. Basically, I just kind of ask them what they're interested in trying. Yeah. And I have my staples that I know that they'll like. Like, they mm. love spinach. Yeah. And they like carrots. We don't put those on pizzas. But yeah. uh, those are the types of vegetables that are just basic, kid-friendly mm. things that I know that they'll go for. That's my son awesome. likes sun-dried tomatoes. So we make one with sun-dried tomatoes and spinach for him. So sophisticated. Yeah, he's what a three. He's, oh. You know, he's got it all together. No big deal eating yeah. sun-dried tomatoes when you're three. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, awesome. Okay, so and spinach surprises me because sometimes you would think if it looks super leafy green, it may be harder to get them to eat, but it seems like you could just sneak it into some food, right? I sneak it in a lot. If it's covered mm. with cheese, they'll eat it. Okay, <laughs> good tip. <laughs> cover it with cheese. Yeah, yeah when in doubt, cover it with cheese. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. For anything, I mean, even for adults, cover it in cheese. Really, probably gonna anything eat in it. life, yes. Have some vegetable cover in cheese. It'll yeah. be delicious. Yes. Piece of cake. Okay, so we have non-pizza with vegetables or just covered in cheese. Um, okay, let's do one more snack idea. What else do you like to make your kids? Uh, my children love chips and salsa, so we try oh, doing yeah. our own homemade salsas. They delicious. love corn with pineapple and cilantro yeah. kind of sweeten it up a little bit yeah um, then it's more like a candy dip than it is I love vegetable. that but that's a really good tip yeah. to add pineapple kind of add some sweetness to the vegetables mm -hmm. and that can help and there's lots of vitamins in pineapple yes so. there you go <laughs> and do they do it with like tortilla chips or um, tortilla chips mm -hmm. or we get um the late July chips yes. are really, I feel like they're healthier and they actually will eat them. They've got flaxseed and stuff in yes. them. So we do those. Those are so good. Have you ever had the Red Hot Blues ones? Yes, they're good. So good. Yeah, so like good. spicy, delicious. Okay, shout out to Late July. We didn't yeah. get paid for that, but we're no. actually promoting them. Yeah. So way to go, Late <laughs> July with your chips. Um, and I know I said one more snack idea, but you did mention something earlier that I want to bring up that I think is a beautiful idea for a snack, easy to do, easy to assemble. Fruit kebabs. Fruit kebabs. <laughs> you have I to love sing that idea. one. Yeah, like, yes. like Oprah. You get a kebab. You get a kebab. Everybody kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> we can have whatever you want yeah. in your kebab. What would Oprah put on a kebab? Oh, my god. Probably like gold nuggets and chocolate. I don't know. I don't know mm. what Oprah likes. Strawberries and Strawberries. fondue or something. Oh, like yeah. That. It'd be really fancy. It'd be like a dipper. It would probably have like all of her favorite things on the kebab. Like she would dip yeah. it in and it would come out with like a cashmere sweater and, and a like book club. and a book club <laughs> and a car. The latest hit, hit seller <laughs> and the car and perfume or something. That would be amazing. I would want to Oprah kebab. Sure. That, but that's beside the point. Okay. <laughs> but for kid kebabs, what do you like to put on them and how do you do it? Um, we just kind of pick the seasonal fruits and mm -hmm. vegetables. We, we, really like watermelon right now oh we my could gosh, kill a whole yes. watermelon just the four of us at I, home i could kill a whole watermelon myself so yeah. that's awesome yeah yeah um anything that's just you know colorful i yeah. tend to want more color on the stick just to get yeah some beauty on there absolutely <laughs> instagram where they yeah. it's got all the colors and they like to build them themselves and they snack as they're building them so that's always good to get your kids involved in yeah. making and eating the food that's an awesome tip like Ashley mentioned like to get your kids involved in eating and making the food because I feel like if you can get your child in the kitchen with you they're more likely to eat it yeah and if you can get them in the grocery store with you and actually get them oh. involved in picking out the food 
it's a little bit of a headache mm-hmm. because they want to buy all this other stuff that you don't need. Yes, but like Reese's Puffs, please. You know, once a week, take them with you and yeah. have them pick out something that they want to try. I love that. That's yeah. so good. Get them interactive and involved in the process. Yeah. That's so good. Ashley's so great. Um, okay, y'all. So that's about it for us for this video. I will put all of Ashley's social media um, information in the YouTube notes. So we'll have her Instagram, her website, all those fun things. And then also for... This week's Love Cooks video, I will have little mini recipes for all of those ideas because they're beautiful snack ideas. And I think they're a great way to get your kids to have some fun back to school snacks that are healthy and full of vegetables and fruit, which yep. is awesome. Okay, Ashley, so from our hearts to yours, from our home to yours, sending so much love, sprinkles and kindness your way. Yes. Yes. Mwah. <laughs>